today instead, in this hopefully half an hour, we will speak about the exam and the preparation of the material for the exam. So, first of all, a reminder, just to, to be clear, this is already written on Slack, but the first exam date, nothing changed for the second exam date, nothing changed for the September exam date, but just for the first date of the exam, uh, that on the teaching portal, on the Portale della Didattica, is listed on June 27. You have, first of all, to enroll if you are interested in having the exam in that date, in that first session. So you have to enroll on the teaching portal, portal and on that date, in the morning, at the, at the hour that is reported on the teaching portal, you have to be present in La Dispe. To do what? To do the head count, just to say you are present or not, you will be interested for real in the exam or not in that session, and then to schedule your effective presentation, your real presentation, your real exam. And your real exam, you have to choose from two possible moments. The first one is June 29, in the morning in La Dispe, and the second one is July the 3rd from 9 to 1 p.m. always in La Dispe. So just, just to be clear, you have to enroll to the exam, you have to be in La Dispe on that date, June 27 in the morning, and choose one of these two dates for the first session of exam. All, uh, each group must choose one of these if you are interested in the first session of the exam. On the 27, if you have uh, overlapping exams, it's, it could be acceptable if just one or two people in the group is there for representing the entire group. But if you don't have exam, please be there. Otherwise, if you have an overlapping exam, just send a representative for the group. And this is a reminder. Then let's speak about the exam preparation or how to get 30 or more than 30. So as you may remind, The exam in this course consists in the evaluation of your project or your group work hmm, that you were assigned at the beginning of the course and that you are actively developing now. The goal of the exam is uh, to assist the capability to design and develop an MEI system, hmm, your MEI system, a prototypal version of an MEI system. And the exam, it consists in two separate phases. The first one is the evaluation of documents of your website or your code on GitHub. And the second one is the, and this is done offline. We will do it without you, before the exam, each exam date. And the second one is the real exam the, the online version of the exam, and it's the oral phase, the oral exam, that we also need, we also use, to assess the individual contribution of each team member. So it, hap it may happen that uh, members of a group have, will have different marks at the end. We don't assign a grade for the entire group. We can take the grade, the mark, and perform some variation according to the individual contribution. And all these is things that you should know. The other thing that you should know is that my individual contribution, my only individual contribution is I did the project website 
or I did the video is not enough, is not sufficient for the project, for the exam. Only the website, only the video, the unique individual contribution of a team member being the website or the video is not enough to pass this course. Because we need to assess the capability to design, develop an MEI system, not to design an HTML website or to create an engaging video. It's not the goal of the exam. So just to be real clear. So this first, these two phases, I will try to give some hints on how we evaluate things and uh, how to try to get the best possible uh, results for you. So, as I said before, the first phase happens off offline. You need to deliver all this material, typically three working days before the effective exam. We will put uh, the exact date on the website of the course in the exam section. So we evaluate in this phase two things. The first one is the evaluation of the project website, updated according to the feedback we, you received. And in particular, we evaluate again from scratch deliverable number one, vision, deliverable number two, features and architecture, and the presentation video. The second part of this phase is the evaluation of Git, GitHub usage and content for the project source code. So we don't have a look of the GitHub repository of the website, but we look on the GitHub repositories named code, that ends with code. Usage and content. Let's have a look, some zoom. Website evaluation. We will look at the latest version of both deliverable, as we saw them for the first time. We don't remember, we will not remember any feedback we give you up to now. We just evaluate from scratch, no matter what happens in the past. These two deliverables must be integrated in the website not segregated, I mean, it's not the, web, the first deliverable in one page and then after 11 clicks you get on the second deliverable. Should be everything present, easily findable on the website. And the third thing is the website should be easy to navigate. It should not, should not be the best uh, graphically uh, announced website of the world, but just easy to navigate. So some probably graphics, it's okay, but the main point is to be able to find items quickly and to read hmm, properly everything. So please avoid gray uh, writing on light gray on white or dark gray on a background that is um, black or something like that, just something easy to read and to, uh, to, and to show. And this is the first part. Almost everything should be already done of this. And the second one in the website is a presentation video that must be embedded in the website and must be hosted on YouTube. So you have to realize a presentation video of your project, put it on YouTube, and embed from YouTube on your website, in your website. We will not have a look on the, on the video on YouTube or in any strange link, but just embedded in the website. There is a guide that we made in 2015 about how to create the video, how it's long. It's linked in the website and also here. But I would like to give you some hints here. A good presentation video should tell a story, a story of your project. What is the, the problem you are trying to solve? What is the topic? Who are your user? Maybe also why it's an MEI system. But 
it must also present the real system, the prototypal part of the system, but it must present the system and describe its main feature, not every feature of the system, but just the main, the most important feature of your project. Let me say the, the feature with priority one or two, according to the deliverable number two. Most video have a short introduction, typically, explaining the goal and the content of the work, and then they emphasize the problem, the, the system, the projects, how the, you realize it, how it works, and so on. And we typically gave a very bad grade to cartoon-only videos. So these are instructions to get the best possible results from your evaluation. Uh, these two phases, uh, the offline phase and the oral exam, are evaluated, uh, take half of the grade, more or less. So the first part is from 0 to 15, and the second part is from 0 to 15, and then we perform the addition, typically, with some variation. So none of the part is per se sufficient, alone. It's the combination that gives you a sufficient evaluation. So a video, each part, the deliverable number one has a certain amount of points associated, the deliverable number two, the same, GitHub usage and content as another uh, quantity of, of points associated and the video as another quantity of points associated. Hmm? Up to around 15, 16 points in total. Hmm? So a good website, a good video is something that may give you some additional point with a little bit more, uh, without too much difficulty. I also put here four examples of good videos, videos that were graded high, almost the maximum, in last year and two years ago. This is some of them. They are not only the best video we had. We, we did a good mark, but just to, to have you to have an example. So for example, uh, I can open here. One of that, let's open the, the first two. So, Amy Cook and uh, Mr. Bean. So, Amy Cook, has, has, it also has some audio that right now you are not uh, hearing, but it's, now we can put the subtitle, it's a description of what's the problem and what the system is, how it works, it's, what is its main purpose, and so on. It, this was uh, something to cook easily in a dormitory, and so it, it cooked pasta and something like that. And, but it also explained that a sensor, actuators, and how it works. It has a mobile application, uh, an application, uh, it controls the stove, and it's, you see, it's a story. You, you cook the pasta, and in the end, they hit that. And it's less than two minutes. That is uh, a good uh, um, duration. The second one that I would like to show you, it's again similar, it's a story, and obviously the subtitles are wrong. And notice that this video, different to the other, that is a story, it has some particular elements. For example, this number here, you don't understand what this number is up to the end of the video. And it describes the problem he is taking, the problem is taking, and at a certain point, if I properly remember, he also switched to a cartoon style explanation. Yeah. So, 
and it's explained the system, how it works, and so on. And it's okay, because it's not only a cartoon. It's a mix between, between different type of presentation. So it, you, they use this DS to explain the main feature, the main, uh, how it works, and then they go back to uh, the real environment, to continue the story, and you see also always this number, and they also, you see also the, the real sort of uh, real beans that they are they used for their project. And okay, and here you, 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 you show that this number, if I properly remember, they are the, um, the what they are called, the, the position in a classific, in the top 10 of the top 10 most uh, greener uh, member of the of the, that project so if you recite a lot you get the first position and so on so that number was where the number of in the position in the this top 10 of of the users so these are for example of videos that got they got a high evaluation last year and two years ago. So they could be of inspiration. They follow that guide I linked here. And as you see, they are no cartoon only videos. So, and this is about the videos and about the website. The other things we are evaluating is Git and GitHub evaluation. So, as I said before, we only look for the project name minus code repositories, not the website repository, because the website repository, we, we, we will see the website, the real website. So let's start from the do not. Do, on, in this repository, do not upload file from the GitHub web interface, but use Git and GitHub with commit add, push, pull, and whatever. Use the real Git process, not just the repository as a storage to drag and drop file. You lose point doing this, to be clear. Because you are not using Git. You are just using a web interface that happens to be powered by Git, but it's not using the system. Instead, you have to, the things that you can do is try to use Git and GitHub from the beginning, from, and the beginning is May, June, this, this, this period. The beginning is not just the day before the exam, not just one commit the day before the exam, that, that's all. But try to use it during time. And try to work, everybody, all the team members should, should work with Git and GitHub, should perform commits, not just horns in a here, but with some frequency. We will look at that also. The usage, the frequency usage of the team members, and properly use one or more branches. So for example, in your repository, the master branch must always be present, because it's the default branch. Then you could have no other branches or 100 other branches as you like, but at the minimum the master branch must be there and must be filled with something with your code, a portion of your code. If you do all these, you again may get the maximum amount of point associated to the Git and GitHub evaluation. And this close the first offline part. So, to, to, to recap, we will look at the website, deliverable number one, deliverable number two, looking also for the navigability of the website. We will look at the video that is embedded on the website and hosted on YouTube. And we have a guide to, to realize the video on the, on the website of the course. And we will look for the usage and the content, the usage of Git and GitHub, and the content on the GitHub uh, minus code repository. 
according to this feature. And this is something that you have to deliver, prepare, put online three days, or three working days before the exam, the real exam date. The second phase happens in La Dispe. Each group, a group per time, obviously. Uh, and in that case, we will arrive with the website evaluation, the GitHub evaluation, and so on, written on a paper. And in that moment, we will evaluate uh, the project according to a presentation and a demo that combined must not be longer than 20 minutes and a discussion that is around five minutes after the presentation and the demo. In this phase, as, as I told you before, we will also assess the individual contribution in the project. So what happens is that typically you come in La Dispe at nine and then at 9.30 the first group did the exam and the other can stay there, can continue to work, to prepare the demo, to plug things, to connect cables and so on. And we go uh, away, we, we proceed in that way for the entire session exam. So one group per time. The presentation and demo is 20 minutes. You can split the time as you prefer, but you have to do a presentation and a demo. Not just a presentation, not just a demo. You have to use both of them, both medium. And uh, you can split the time as you want. 15 minutes the presentation, five the demo, five the presentation, 15 the demo, as you prefer as you think that is better for your project. The presentation can be realized with PowerPoint or similar and must be delivered in La Dispe, either connecting your laptop to a video projector that in La Dispe has only the VGA connection, notice that, or by using the desktop computer in La Dispe that is connected uh, on, the, on the video projector, and in those cases, please prepare your slides in PDF to avoid problem with different versions of PowerPoints and something like that. The desktop computer has an internet access, so if you realize your slides on Google Drive or something like that, you can access from that, from there. While preparing the presentation, keep in mind that we have already read your website. So you should not explain to us what is MEI, which are the MEI steps, because probably we know that and we read your website. So that things are on the website, are in the vision, in the first deliverable of your revision. And we also checked your code. So please avoid slide with copy and paste of 1,000 lines of code. If you want to put a code in your slide, you can, but it should be short and significant. So I would like to highlight these five lines of code because they are really, really important for the project. You can do that, but just not copy and paste from the PyCharm or Android Studio in your slide and see line by line your code. We, we really don't need that. We, we all will don't need that. In preparing the presentation, focus on this thing. The system we are going to see, we will see the system in a demo. So focus on that. Its feature, some important technical details linked to the feature, to the problem, to the issue that you presented before. Not every technical detail and the individual contribution. If you don't clearly say who did what, we will ask. So just prepare that. And during the presentation, every member must speak. So you have four in a group, split the presentation in four parts and speak. 
uh, one thing that uh, groups made last the previous year they split the presentation according to what they do in the project so he if one person worked with uh, arduino the other part he or she was speaking on that part particularly and something like that then there is the demo the you can set up the demo as you want you have to show the demo that is work the, the prototype of your system in Ladispe and show us that it works and how it works and etc but the key message here is prepare the demo a lot of time we arrive near the demo and students say okay now I sh should do this but uh, I don't remember if I set up this and uh, where is the app where is the way is not working I forgot to turn on this etc 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 so it may happen for the first group that is passing at 9 30 if the exam starts at 9 maybe it cannot happen for the group that is passing at 2 p.m for example, if they are there in the lab from 9 in the morning. So prepare the demo there in the lab and also before the lab. Prepare watch what you want to show us. Do not improvise and test it. Test it the day before in Ladispe. Test it on the day of the exam before showing us the, the, the real demo. Have a friend try and test it. Have a friend act as a professor in that case and test your demo, test your story. And also know your critical point, things that might not work, things that might go wrong and prepare a plan B for that. So for example, you are here, you are in the display, you connect something that morning, something that worked, always worked and that morning it stopped working because it was a critical component, uh, uh, something that you, you maybe are not so confident how to fix it, or it's not possible to fix it, uh, fix it uh, quickly, but you know that is a critical component, that may happen that, so in that case, prepare a plan B. Hmm? I will show that part that is going wrong, because that part is a portion of the system that is expected that could be wrong so try to yeah, know your critical points and if you have some critical points in your project something that may work or not just try to prepare an alternative to cover that point during the demo the alternative could be a video for example of the system working at home in another occasion for example so just to, to be to be ready in case things go wrong and in the demo show the system at work that it should be used by your typical user and not explain during the demo the technical details I have this resistor here that is connected there it's not a demo it's not part of a demo they are for sure important thing but it's not something that you sh must show during a demo. Uh, technical details, important technical details can be inserted in the presentation and we can ask about that in the discussion, for sure. And you can explain whatever you want about technical detail in the discussion, if there is something important that you missed or that was not clear. As I said before, we start typically at nine, but we leave at least 30 minutes for the first group to prepare his work and this group could go uh, in Ladispe even before 9 to start setting up his prototype hmm? so you have time to set up everything before the demo and then finally discussion Discussion is a session of question and answer. We made the question and you hopefully provide the answer of around five minutes. 
Typically, it happens in front of the demo, after the demo. In very few cases, it happened uh, in front of the presentation. Uh, for example, we may ask a question in front of a presentation if there is something really, really unclear in the presentation. So maybe we ask that at the moment. But typically, they happen in front of the demo, after the demo. And question can be, as you imagine, follow-up from the presentation, clarification about some features, clarification feature that was unclear on the website, on the demo, on the presentation, on a combination of three, etc. Requests for more technical details, for example. And clarification about individual contribution and something like that. All questions related to your project, to what you did. There is no any tricky question or question like describe uh, all the definition of IMEI or uh, what, what you mean for a formal requirement and so on. Nothing about that. Only your uh, project, your demo, and your website, and your uh, presentation. Everything is about your project. And that's it. Do you have any question? So everything is clear? So yeah. the deadline of three days before the exam, we should have the website uh, prepared and the stuff prepared. You mean three days before the exam date or three days uh, before the effective uh, exam uh, uh, session? Good question. Typically, the effective uh, exam session and the exam date are the same. Typically, so for the second session will be that, for September will be that. In that, ca in that case, in this first exam, we, ha we still have to decide, but probably will be three days before the first date of the effective exam session. So not three days before the 27th of June, but three days before the 29th, that is the first effective um, session. But we will put this information on the website, exam section, as soon as possible, this week, probably. So, so we want to take the second round of the exam, so the date will be told us in the future, right? Sorry? Uh, I mean, if we want to take the second round of the exam, yeah. the, the date of the The date is on the teaching portal or portal already? Already there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and so probably is that. We will not move. Uh, that date. Just for this first session, for a combination of factors, uh, including that you are, typically there is a lot of people that is enrolled in the first session, and so we typically spend all day in La Dispe, from the morning the 9 up to the 7 p.m., typically, and so we, we try to split this into separate date for, for his to be, for a thing more easy. Uh, sorry, I didn't get because the, the demonstration. How does, how does work? Sorry, the demonstration. The demonstration must work. Yeah, I know, but how? Oh, in which sense? Like the argument to show me the result, or does it? I don't know. Uh, how do you imagine it? <laughs> uh, you you have a project that is that is a, a specific goal. Yeah. I don't know goal X, and it's made for children and you get I don't know I just uh, inventing you get the hurt rate of these children if it's too high in your project eh? if it's too high you show a, a warning uh, and send a call to his parent and something like that uh, you should uh, demonstrate that this goal these features that are the most important feature in your project effectively work so over there, you simulate probably a child, and you simulate the heartbeat to height, maybe with historical data or something like that, and uh, you just show that effectively, if you get some input from a simulated child of this heart, uh, this high heart rate, 
uh, it will cast the, the warning, call the parent, that is maybe send a message, send an email, and something like that. Just demonstrate that the idea of your prototype version of the project works and do what it should do. Okay, so if you, have a, <clears throat> if you don't have any other question, we can move in Ladispe. Uh, in Ladispe.